All right, in this video, we're going to work on graph interpretation. Our first question says, when x is 80, what is y? So let's go over. We find the x-axis. And when x is 80, this corresponds to y value of 150. Then it says, when x is 60, this is going to correspond to a y value halfway between 100 and 150, which is 125. All right, next it changes it up just a little bit. It says when y is 175, what is x? So I need to find 175 on the y-axis, go over, and that appears to correspond with x equals 100. And finally, when y is 75, which happens right here, we go over just a little bit, and that corresponds to x equals 20. All right, so then it asks us, what is the y-intercept of the graph? So the y-intercept is just where the graph intercepts the y-axis. So that's occurring at y equals 50. All right, next, it asks us, what is the slope of the graph? So the slope equals rise over run. So what I want to do is I want to pick two points. You can pick any two points you want, but I'm going to pick the start and the end and calculate the rise and the run. So let's actually start with the run. So the run is how far the graph went to the right. So it went 120 to the right because it went from x equals 0 to x equals 120. And then the rise is how far we have to go up to actually get to the graph. So here, the rise is from 50 to 200 or 150. Again, it went from 50 up to 200. I subtracted those to get 150. Dividing 150 by 120 gives me 1.25 which is our answer for the slope. All right, so then it says, what is the area underneath the graph? So the area underneath the graph is that area between the graph itself all the way down to the x-axis. Now this one's a little bit complicated, so I'm actually gonna break it up into two pieces. So first I have this triangle, but then what I need to add to it, let me go ahead and switch colors, is this rectangle underneath it. And if I add those two together, it'll give me the whole area that I'm looking for. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So for this triangle, we actually already found the base and the height. So the base was 120, and the height was 150, and that together gives us 9,000. Then for the rectangle itself, the area of a rectangle is just length times width. The length is 120, just like the base of the triangle, but now the width, or the height, is just 50 and that gives us 6,000. Adding those two together, 9,000 plus 6,000, gives us the area of 15,000. A lot of times you'll be able to do that just with one calculation, either a triangle or a rectangle, but if things are a little more complicated, break it up into multiple shapes.